Here we go, and I can also honestly promise that I didn't wear my Corona bikini on purpose. I got this in Mexico, kind of as a bit of a joke, and then the pandemic became a real problem. So, I'm gonna get in the shower, I'm gonna take it all the way down to the very coldest that it can go, stand right under it, and just hit that button. So, okay, let's just get it done. Three, two, one. Really? Okay. It's all about the mind. Three, two, one. Once you control your breath. Okay, I can't clean myself properly with my bikini on. I'm gonna take this off. Now, you may be thinking this girl is crazy. I could never do cold showers for this many days in a row. But let me tell you, when I first started, I was terrified. I hate being cold. In fact, in my past, I used to get really bad panic attacks. I'll probably make a video about that sometime soon. But one of the triggers for me having panic attacks was when I would feel too cold. And so the fact that I'm able to do this now firstly shows me how far I've come since those days like three to four years ago. Oh, my towel's usually that. I just realized I'm filming this and the person who edits my videos is not gonna see me naked. Okay. Whew, okay, so update. That was honestly very nice. Um, Day one is done. I think this was kind of a good day to start because now my whole mindset towards it is quite positive. Because I'm usually one of those people that comes out the shower red because I have it so hot. So that was good. I honestly feel like I could have stayed in there a lot longer. Halfway through it suddenly got even colder. And right now the bottom of my legs are feeling really, really chilly. But it was a good day to start. But I don't think it's gonna stay this way because when I'm showering in the mornings, it's gonna be a whole different ball game. Day two. I hate wearing a bikini in the shower, so it is what it is. And I guess here goes nothing. Oh, I should probably turn that on first. <laughs> okay. Being an entrepreneur, things come up that you do not expect. So being able to master both your mind and body is something that's so important. And I identified that I was getting too comfortable. For me, going to the gym is easy, eating well is easy, it's just part of my routine. So I needed to introduce a daily discomfort to force me outside of that zone that we stay in that's so easy, our comfort zone. Okay, I'm gonna clean my butt. I will be back in a sec. So that I could continue to grow in both my body and mind and push through new boundaries. And so that's what inspired me to take 30 days of cold showers. I don't know what it is, but I find that when I'm having cold showers, it takes my body longer to dry, I guess, because my pores aren't opened up. It's very bizarre. And of course, I need to wash my hair today. <laughs> Whew, washing my hair in that cold shower, never, never gets easier. If I've got chocolate in my teeth, it's probably because I, uh, I just ate my, my oats with cocoa powder. But it's because I need it to make me warm after those cold showers. And I do find that my hair is kind of feeling a bit drier from the cold showers. But overall, my body feels great. And I definitely have more energy. It makes me feel more alert. And I'm also always feeling really proud of myself after I've done it. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but I genuinely believe that the little things add up so much to allow you to have more fulfillment in everything that you're doing. So, whew, ticked another day off the list. 
Let's keep crushing it. My heart always races. Ah, such a mental barrier. Oh, this is feeling extra cold today. I'm trying to like exfoliate as fast as I can to warm myself up. I basically just took a cold shower outside. I am soaked. The last thing that I want to do right now is get into a cold shower. Ugh. So I kind of had a little bit of a mindset shift when it comes to these cold showers. It's kind of like exercise. While it's tough at the time, it's not just strengthening your body through ensuring that you learn how to regulate your breathing, but it's also strengthening your mind. <sighs> gonna do it, gonna do it, gonna do it. I committed to this. Yeah. Oh. oh okay, I'm not in. This is not cool. Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. It might be freezing outside, but let's do this. It's like difficult every single time and every single time you have to amp yourself up. And so I'm learning a lot about my mind and I'm transferring that into my business. And I feel like this is probably the best challenge I've ever put myself through. So I really do recommend it. When you get your breathing regulated, the coldness in your body kind of starts to feel warm kind of becomes like this euphoric feeling. Whew. It's weird because like right now, I wanna go back in. It's just the beginning so hard and then at the end it's so nice. I just want a hot shower. <laughs> making me a stronger person. It's making me a better person. <sighs> By the way, please thumbs up this video because I'm doing this for you. Actually, that's not true. Doing this for myself, doing this to strengthen my mind, but I'm taking a lesson from it for you. So if it's a good thing, you can use it too, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah! That was probably the coldest one <sighs> that I've had to do so far. Oh, I think it's because I woke up cold and I had a shower straight away and it's really cold today. Oh, I have goosebumps everywhere. I'm just like tensing on my muscles trying to make me heat up. I do not know what's happened to my hair, but that shower felt pretty enjoyable today. During the days following, I did notice one thing. I had actually began to get less good ideas in the shower as what I used to do. So I have to admit, I did have one hot shower and oh my goodness me, it was incredible. But that evening I had a cold shower because I committed to this, I needed to complete it. And I found that in that hot shower, I started having more and more ideas. So that was quite interesting to me. I feel like this is training. This is training for me to be able to manage my mind. And I know that sounds kind of cliche, but through exercising in the gym and running, I don't really get that push. That kind of just comes naturally to me now that I've been doing it for so long. But I truly feel that these cold showers feel so, so difficult every single time. It never gets easier. It's never like you can just go to the gym and just go on cross trainer and be on autopilot. I often find it's actually colder when you get out than when you're in there. Cause like when you're in the shower, you're so focused on your breath, on controlling yourself, on <laughs> your goosebumps. Then when you get out, it's like this release. And it's like, oh my goodness me, you actually realize how cold you are. But this challenge as it were, it's taught me a lot. And so now that I've done that, here's the question that holds. Am I going to keep having cold showers? And my answer is yes, but I don't think I'm going to do it every single day. 
What I used to do when I was younger is at the end of my shower make it really really cold just for the final 30 seconds but I don't really like that because you don't really feel as much of the benefit as when you persevere through the freezing coldness of the shower but I think what I'm probably going to start doing is doing it two to three times a week and actually scheduling it into my day. I prefer the way that my body feels and that my hair feels when I wash with warm water I find that my body never feels quite as clean I don't know why even when I'm using the exfoliator thing and so cold showers are definitely something that I recommend and quite frankly this has just given me more mental toughness it is a great daily discomfort I believe having one thing that you do every single day that's uncomfortable is so important for our clients at impact school we call it daily discomfort and so I want to know what your daily discomfort is going to be is it going to be that you're going to do cold showers is it that you're going to go for a run for 10 minutes I think what I'm gonna probably start doing now that I've done this, achieved it, I feel really good that I've done it. I honestly am, I, I am proud of myself just because of the fact that I used to get really bad panic attacks. Whatever is uncomfortable to you, do it, make it happen, and I want to know down in the comments below what your thing's gonna be. Hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.